How to resize product images in WooCommerce step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can actually resize images in your WooCommerce product grid. So a lot of people are using WooCommerce right now to start, you know, selling their product. And if you go ahead and insert your products directly from WooCommerce into your store, if I go back into the WordPress editor, I can click on blocks and I can just go on ahead, click on add. And then if I just search for our product over here, so I can go into WooCommerce and then I can go into the WooCommerce sections and then I can go ahead and use one of the pre-existing WooCommerce sections. So, you know, if you insert a WooCommerce section and you have different product images in your product, they are not going to, all of them are not going to appear the same so how can we actually build a page which has woocommerce elements but all of them are sized the same well for this i like to use a simple plugin that actually enables me to use the featured variations of elementor in my store so first off i'm going to click on new and i'll build a new page now we're going to name this our products page so we're just going to build a simple new page, which is going to be product page. And then from here, I can add a pattern or block from WooCommerce. So I will go ahead and go into the design. We're going to go for products. And you guys can see I have the product section over here. And if I drag and drop it over here, this is products beta. It is a block that displays a section of our product. And then you guys will see our products will appear over here. Now, if I click on publish on the top right, you guys will see by default, it has displayed the images. Now I will go back into my product section and I'll add a variation of images so you guys can better see the different sizes of images in our product page. So I'll just click on view page over here as well. And now I'm going to click on the item over here. And once I go into item, I'll click on add media and I'll just add a few different pictures to display on my product. Insert into the product. This is a simple product. And then I'll just click on update. Now you guys can see these are the two products and both of them have been sized the same. However, if you ever are using WooCommerce and your product images don't get sized the same, and I'll show you guys an example of how that can happen and how you can prevent that. So I'll add another pop and then I'll add media and I'll upload the files. And now once I've done that, I can click on attach into product. On the right, we have the product image. So I'll just set a product image for this and then I'll click on publish. Now, once we have our products displayed, you will see your product grid will have all of the products be sized in a default square. However, you can actually improve the appearance of your product page with Shop Lentor. So how do you get Shop Lentor? Well, if you want to get Shop Lentor, you're going to go into plugins on the left panel. And once you are in plugins, you're going to click on add new plugin. And once you click on add new plugin, you're going to search for Shop Lentor. So what Shop Lentor does is that with Shop Lentor, you can actually take the premium template of Elementor and use them for free. Just download this and activate it. Once you have activated this, you will find it on the left panel over here. And now once you open up your page that you are building, so let's say we are building our product page over here. And instead of using our WordPress editor to, you know, insert these blocks and have them be sized automatically, I can use a premium tool to insert our dynamic WooCommerce block instead of just having a simple WordPress block. So to do that, I am going to click on edit with Elementor. And now once we edit with Elementor, we can go on ahead and instead of using a simple product grid with WordPress, we can use a featured product grid where we can customize the overall appearance. So what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down and on the left, once you have downloaded Shop Lentor, you will see that you have all these options and then at the bottom, instead of having nothing, you have the Shop Lentor item. So click on Shop Lentor and then you have different types of product layouts that you can use to display your products. 
So from here, you're going to use the WooCommerce product tab and just drag and drop that. Now, once you do that, you will actually see your image sizes and then you can choose style one, style two, or then style three to display your product. Now with that, you also have the products you want to show, the number of columns. So let's say I want six columns, I can do six columns, the rows and the number of products in each row, the product categories you want to display, exclude out of stock items, as well as a product slider. So you can turn on the product slider and this will slide the products. Now, once you do that, you guys will see the rest of my products don't have a price. However, the ones that do will have the price displayed. Now below that, with a product slider, you also have the slider options and these slider control styles as well. Now I am not going to add a slider because I don't want that. But once you've done that, we can click on style on the top right, and then you can choose the borders of the product. So if I don't want a border, I can click on none. And then once we click on, let's say none, we have the border radius that we might want. We have the dotted, dashed, however we want the items to be bordered. I'm gonna go with the none. And then you can choose the style of the product. So the content background, the title color, but I want the product image background to be transparent like this. So I'm gonna make it totally transparent. And then we have the content background. I also want that to be transparent. And then I can choose the alignment. I want everything to be maybe center aligned. And then after that, you have the product price option, the title options. And then once we've done that, we can go into our action button. So the font size of our action button, the background color of that as well. And then after that, you have the advanced options, which are the margins of the product images like this. So if we want our product images to be placed closer like this, we can do that as well. And all of the images will be sized the same. Now you can also do align self where the products will align themselves and you can choose the width of the product as well. So you can do custom, you can do inline, you can do full width, you can do default. And then below that you have the sizes if you want them to grow, or if you want them to shrink upon hover. After that, you have basic Z index, CSS IDs, and CSS classes. And then you have motion effects, transformative effects, backgrounds, as well as borders and masking for your particular product. So you can adjust that to your personal liking as well. And in this way, you will have a similar size image for all of your products that are being displayed using WooCommerce. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.